Hello, audience. It is I once again here to post a random video vlog thingy, whatever. Uh, that was random, randomly unfocused. So, what shall I post about today? Hmm. We'll just start with typical random tangent number one. I have a Nerf gun on my desk. Oh no, product name again. I'm getting sued by everybody, aren't I? Ah, anyway, it's quite fun. You know, you just shoot things. Probably makes a really loud, obnoxious noise. But that's okay. Especially because I'm shooting the microphone. Oh, yes. I apologize for that if that makes a weird noise. I edit it out, but I'm too lazy. Yes, anyway. Ah, uh, but Nerf guns are fun. I very much enjoy them. A lot of people think you get too old for playing with toys, but I think it's ridiculous playing with toys. You're never too old for playing with toys. But yes. Yes, that was not a very good tangent. We need a better tangent. What else can I pull? I can pull yogurt. I have yogurt. I just finished eating it. I'll be taking it to the trash momentarily. But it was delicious. It's key lime. Oh, 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 there, there. No product name. It's covered. No one saw that product name. It's delicious key lime pie. Love it. Good yogurt. Uh, I'm actually lactose intolerant, but since yogurt has the enzymes, have eaten up all the lactose, so I can eat that. So I'm uh, uh, lactose intolerant, but I can still eat yogurt. In fact, I'm pretty much everything intolerant. Uh, bit of a joke. I'm allergic to everything. Let's see. Uh, I'm allergic to allergic to lactose. Obviously, lactose intolerant. Can't have oats. Uh, I can't have soy milk or tofu, but I can have soy oils. So I'm thinking it's probably one of the proteins as opposed to one of the fats. I don't get it. But I don't question I love soy sauce, so it works out quite well. Um, I can't have red meat. That's pork or beef or anything like that. Um, can't have any of that. I'm missing something. I can't have lettuce. Yes, I'm allergic to lettuce. However that works. I'm allergic to lettuce. Which I find really strange. Um, but whatever. It works. So, uh, yeah, I'm allergic to pretty much everything going, um, but hey, I live, I've actually learned to cook quite well because I've, I've got to cook my own, all my own food, uh, which is why I'm going to culinary school, and why I'm going to be going to, my goodness, what is wrong with that camera? Anyway, I'll be going to college, um, starting up soon, and I'll actually uh, learn to cook things. It'll be quite nice, quite a nice change, because uh, I've actually been for the last two years having issues, I couldn't pay tuition. Uh, my brother was very generous and paid for my tuition. So, the last few years I've been kind of sitting on my butt doing absolutely nothing, and uh, I finally got bored enough to start making vlogs. Because I'm that bored. And why are you unfocusing every five seconds? What is your issue, Mr. Camera? Harumph. Because talking to you helps with everything. Uh, though, if you want to talk, talk about talking to things, I've discovered I have an odd habit that when I talk to things, I talk to things in German. I don't know why. Uh, a lot of times, when I'm, I'm having issues with something, I will say, Ge da, for go there, when I'm having issues putting something in place. And I don't know why, but I always add bitter to the end. Just a little bit more polite, you know, because you want to be polite to objects. Um, and I've noticed a lot of people do this. They talk to inanimate objects, and they expect it to do something. I guess that makes them feel better. I guess it's a universal thing, and you feel better when you yell at it. I don't know why, but I'm not a psycho and psychologist with an analysis at the end. Psychoanalyst, that's the word I'm looking for. Which is another thing I've noted. All of my friends who majored in, uh, who, when they went to their higher education, majored in any sort of psychology were crazy. So, I'm thinking that psychology, really, there are no insane people but the psychologists, and they have labeled the sane people as being the crazy ones, because in their own insane minds, everything is out. Especially if you look at Freud. Freud suffered from severe obsession with man's primal nature, and he was a little odd, shall we say. Um... But I knew a lot of people in high school who went on to major in psycho psychology and psychiatry and stuff. And it's it's really weird. Now can counselors are normal. They're people who want to help people and they they seem generally nice, but people who are interested in the insane, I think have to be insane to begin with. It takes one to know one sort of thing. 
But um, whatever works, I guess. Uh, so, or maybe it's just like a dating site. They figured they'll meet more insane people if they're a psychiatrist, and they can uh, it's like you know, big scheme that they can find more people like them and have little groups together, have parties, because <laughs> they can't find dates normally, so they have to go to insane people to get dates. That works too. Um, and loony houses must be fun. I mean, I've always thought it'd be fun to be in a padded cell, because you can, like, bounce off the walls and go, boy, 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 you can't hurt yourself. And you can do the running up the walls and do, do play around. It's just, it's just so much fun. And, uh, 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 you know, when when you're in gymnastics, you, you pay a lot of money to get out there and you can play around on all the mats and stuff, especially the big styrofoam bins you jump into. Um, so it might, it must actually be quite fun in there. I guess that's how you become more mentally sane. You, you can, if you've got that outlet, you can do whatever you want to You can bash those walls. It, just, it makes you more sane, because you can let yourself out. Um, on a slightly related topic, uh, though, I've always wanted... I'm, I'm very hydrophobic. I don't like water. But I o always thought it would be cool to get one of those pools, the underground pools that you dig out, the really big ones, and instead of putting water in it, fill it with those little hollow plastic balls. Because I love those balls. You jump into them and you swim around. Oh, it's so much fun. Uh, and being as tall as I am, I'm, I'm over two meters tall. It is very difficult, um, obviously, to to play in the ball pits at, at, at restaurants. They, they, they didn't give you weird looks. It's like, I'm sorry, you're too tall for this. I'm like, oh, that's no fun. I want to jump in the ball pit. I want to play in the ball pit. Uh, Chuck E. Cheese, I've learned, actually lets you into their ball pits regardless of your height. At least most of them do. Because uh, I was playing at a turkey cheese and I got, I was able to play in their ball pit, and that was, I was like, ah, this is so much fun. Because um, my youth pastor had his, uh, had his going away party when he was moving to a different, hello, when he was moving to a different church, had his going away party at a Chuck E. Cheese, because he loved them. And um, he was the youth youth pastor, so you know we were all youth, we were all high schoolers, and we were all in touch with our inner kid. We we're all crazy enough. Um, and he gave he gave some interesting advice. Um, but I'll save those for the words of wisdom. You know what? What the heck? Uh, this is a long enough video. His words of wisdom, which I am now using. First dates. If you, if you really want to impress a girl, take her as your first date to Chuck E. Cheese's. Because there's two big reasons. One, you get a wonderful chance to... Actually, three. You get to be the fun, exciting person. You get to be, you know... It shows that you've got a sense of humor, that you can be fun and light and casual. Two, you can kind of show off how you are at the games, you can win her lots of tickets, you know, give her the tickets, get some cool stuffed animal prizes, that sort of stuff. And third, no girl will find anything at Chuck E. Cheese's offensive. And if they do, you've got a big problem. Because, you know, a lot of girls are, are, are overly cautious, and rightly so, because of all the jerk guys out there. But if you take them to Chuck E. Cheese's, there is nothing that they can misconstrue as some sort of innuendo. Because it's Chuck E. Cheese's, it's like, hey, let's go to Chuck E. Cheese's, they've got a big mouse there. What? See? Nothing wrong with that sentence. And if there is something wrong with it, I don't want to know it. Um, in fact, there probably is somewhere out there some misconstrue. And I apologize for the camera, why are you doing that? I'm not sure, maybe if I sit closer. There. I'm closer, and the video's over, because I already gave the words of wisdom. Um, but yes, take your first date to Chuck E. Cheese, which is a great one. He said that every date he took to Chuck E. Cheese, he got a repeat date on. So that has to be a good sign. Um, I've actually only ha ever had one girlfriend. <laughs> so, um, you know, I didn't have a girlfriend until I was 18, and we've been together for the past uh, over two years now. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. I got it right the first time, and I'd found this, uh, anyway, I'm rambling on a bit. Um, so, yes, there we are. Uh, oh, almost forgot. Frank Fred Lego. This is the whole reason I made this vlog, was because I needed to point this out. Frank, because I forgot to point out the last vlog with, uh, with my girlfriend, and that was all thrown together and very hectic, so, uh, I forgot a lot of things. But Frank Fred Lego. If you can tell me some sort of way to uh, send you my autograph, then I would absolutely do that. If you have some sort of way to do that, um, I suppose I could scan it and send it as a picture of PM, but um, I suppose if you gave me your, uh, what's it called, address over a PM, private message, um, 
excuse me, because you can do that on YouTube, you can send private messages. Uh, I suppose I could mail it to you. Um, but yes, that is the deal with that. So yes, I will give you my autograph because you've asked for it in every video, and I, I thought it was hilarious. So thank you for the dedication. So anyway, words of wisdom, first date to Chuck E. Cheese, and adieu, fair audience, adieu.